Baby Giraffe Acrylic Painting Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Paper. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you this really cute little giraffe painting. It's a baby giraffe with the really, really fluffy little Aussie cones on a pale pink background. Of course you can switch out that background for whatever color you like, for whatever situation you're gonna be hanging this in. This one is going to go into a little girl's room, so the light pink was decide was the background I decided to go with. And I hope you guys like it. There will be more of these baby animal paintings coming up that will all go together. So check back for those and I'll put links to them as they are uploaded in the description box below. So like I said, check back for them in there. And don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So I already have my giraffe sketched out on the canvas and I'm going to begin by painting the background with a pale pink. Now I know that this giraffe is going to be going in a little girl's room so that's why the pale pink came in to play here. Otherwise you could definitely switch it out for a more savanna or safari type color or just white or gray or something like that. I liked the pale pink. I thought it actually turned out really good against the orange tones of the giraffe. So then you're going to paint it over your giraffe with charcoal. Now this is optional. I like to have a charcoal background underneath my animals because I think it just kind of disappears if any of it shows and it creates a really nice smooth base. But like I said, optional, you can just skip this and go right into painting. Now for his mane, that part was not did not have that charcoal base on it because it's a little bit more wispy so I wanted possibly some background to show through if it needed to. And so I just used kind of like an auburn color, some cream, some beige, some brown, some, and then a little bit of charcoal for a shadow right along the base of where these little bristly hairs come out of the giraffe. That sounds really, really weird. Um, so I'm just going to be adding his mane first. It is darker as it gets closer to, um, closer to the top of his head. It does darken some. And so then I'm going to be doing all of the spots on her neck. So now when I'm doing this, I was just basically doing the outline of the spots, but the neck isn't really the focus of this and I didn't want it to be super fine with all the little hairs. I want it to be a little bit more soft looking. So I went through and I just used brown and cream and I blended out the edges of the spot so that it kind of just fades from the cream to the brown and it's not a harsh line. It's very very soft looking. It's got the little fur lines, it's got the fur texture and the fur direction, but it doesn't have the harshness of very abrupt lines. Fill in your spots with brown and because the way the light comes from on my particular giraffe, the side of her neck that's towards her face or towards her nose is going to be a little bit lighter, a little bit more hit by the light than the side towards her mane. So I'm going to be progressively lightening my brown spots. So when they're towards her mane, they have more charcoal paint in them. And then the brown gets progressively more of like an orangey auburn color as it nears that other side. So just kind of, I don't know if you can tell the little slight gradation going across the neck of my giraffe. At this point, I think she looks so weird with those little little white highlights around each spot but then you're going to need to go through and fill in around your spots so take and i have a cream color like kind of a, almost a mustard yellow sort of color and then brown which is what i'm going to be using and the brown i just used a touch of that near where the mane is and just fill in around your spots and do the same thing progressively lighten it as you get towards the opposite side of her neck from her mane so just kind of lighten them across the neck. Give it a nice, so it'll just very subtly create this nice rounded shape across your giraffe. Make it so that her neck doesn't look flat. And the same thing, just kind of blend these out. It's not super detailed little fur texture lines. It's all very soft and very, very light. Very, yeah. I can't explain what I'm trying to say, but I hope you can see what I'm trying to say. Just keep everything very smooth at this point. Now I'm gonna take a very tiny brush and I'm just going to diffuse the outside edge. And I don't want it, cause I don't want any of those hard lines. So I'm going to take the same brown cream, etc., and just create a little texture going right along the outside edge of her neck. Because otherwise it's got this really precise line on it and we don't want anything precise. This is an animal, they're not precise. And I'm gonna add a couple little highlights with the cream color on the brown spots that are on that side, just to brighten those up just a touch more. So now I'm gonna start working on her face. So I started right around the outside or the jawline edge of her and she does still have some spots that are on her face so just kind of keep blending those softly in there and then I'm going to start filling in around her eye at this point I'm not doing any of those little detail lines like I will add later the little fur texture lines those will all come um you know soon enough just kind of get the basic colors down so her face has very distinct darkness down the on her forehead and then down her snout and down her nose and then a little lighter on her lips and then lighter around her eyes so she's got a very almost mask type appearance so just keep going through and painting this in and then her Aussie cones those are very light those are or very dark I mean 
Ooh, wrong way. Those are dark. And the funny thing with um, baby giraffes versus adult giraffes that I think I just love baby giraffes because they've got really furry Aussie cones. They've got that nice little tuft on the end of them. So that I just think is amazing. And definitely a reason to paint baby giraffe if you haven't yet because you can paint fluffy, fluffy horns. So continue going through and adding the little details on there. So I used a start out with that really light cream color just an off-white I think it's actually the paint color that I was using is called antique white very close to white and add little fur texture everywhere where it's going to be the brightest so even though the edge of Harassi cones are they're dark it's dark fur those little furs are shiny so they're going to get a highlight with white or with not white but with this light color so just keep adding the lighter tones and then progressively darken them so then I went on to kind of like a more beigey color paint and then brown and then black and so on and so forth and as you're working here, eventually you're going to get to where you want to add, add the fur, the long fur, on the end of her Aussie cones. So do that with charcoal, and you will highlight them later. And I don't know why I didn't fill in, fill in her ears when I did the rest of her face, but I didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be filling those in now. They're fairly pale. They're very, they're actually the lightest part on her face. So just make sure that you use a lot of that antique white and some white, but a little bit of charcoal inside them, especially in the one that you can see the inside. Add some brown right around the base of her horn for, or base of her ear for where her, those couple last little spots are. And then add some white little hairs inside the ear that you can see, because you can only see inside the one. So make sure you add lots of little white hairs in there. Continue adding more hair texture. I decided she needed more light color hair lines on the dark areas of her face just to brighten them up. I thought it looked a little bit too, you know, too dark, too dark, too muddy. And then add some little fur texture on the back of each ear with white and cream and now I'm going to be doing all of the details on her eyes which is my favorite part of painting any animal portrait I absolutely love painting their eyes there's there's so much subtle expression that can be done there so it's definitely my favorite she's got very dark eyes very brown eyes um, and very long eyelashes inside the highlight of her eyes I did make sure to include a little bit of pink because she's in a pink environment she's gonna have some pink highlights some pink reflections in her eyes so I hope you guys love this little giraffe there will be some more pink background baby animals coming up so I hope you guys check back for those I will put links to them in the description box below as they're uploaded and please check out my Facebook and Instagram for more of my art and I will see you in my next video bye